I'm your 4th District State Representative, Matt Shea. Thank you for joining me on this legislative update. More than 9% of the population of Spokane County is unemployed and looking for work. That's more than 22,000 people who are out of a job. And that's why it's so important to reduce government taxes and regulations on employers so they can create jobs and get people, get Washington working again. For a number of years, employers have been paying more into the unemployment insurance system than necessary to fund unemployment insurance benefits. And the rates for many employers have continued to rise dramatically, forcing some employers to make the terrible choice of laying off workers to fund the unemployment system. You heard that right. As assistant ranking member of the House Labor and Workforce Development Committee, I was involved in negotiations on legislation to address this untenable situation. I'm pleased to report that we were able to pass a temporary relief bill, Senate Bill 5135 and another bill, House Bill 1091, that would permanently reduce the amount paid by employers while maintaining the stability of the unemployment fund. Both bills were signed into law. This is a huge victory for small businesses and those seeking jobs in the 4th District. We're also making progress with several other bills I have sponsored. The House Transportation Committee unanimously approved my eminent domain reform measure, House Bill 1441. If you are a former owner of land that was acquired through eminent domain by the Department of Transportation, my bill allows you a first right of repurchase if the state declares that land surplus and puts it up for sale. Government should never use eminent domain proceedings to prosper at the expense of property owners and you shouldn't have to compete against other bidders for your former property. So I'm very glad this bill is moving forward to ensure fairness in the eminent domain process. Unfortunately, the Democrat chair of the House Health Care and Wellness Committee has put her foot on another bill I have sponsored. House Bill 1442 would require parents to be notified in advance of their minor child undergoing an abortion. I believe it is a matter of child safety. The reason parents should be notified is in case of medical complications, such as those that occurred in the Ballard High School incident last summer. The chair refused my request for a public hearing. She said she believes girls over the age of 14 who have become pregnant are considered emancipated and independent. I respectfully disagree. Despite your emails and phone calls to her office, she continues to refuse to allow this bill to move forward. Nevertheless, I will continue working on this issue for the protection of minors. I'd like to take a moment to invite you to join me for a telephone town hall meeting on Wednesday, February 23rd. You'll be joining hundreds of your 4th District neighbors on the phone in a community conversation with me. We'll discuss issues of importance to you, and I will provide an update of the legislative session. We'll start the hour-long teleconference at 6.30 p.m. Again, that's Wednesday, February 23rd at 6.30 p.m. If you'd like details of how you can participate, go to my website. You'll see the address on your screen. Thanks again for joining me on this legislative update. I'm your state representative, Matt Shea.